I don't think we can really go in. Yeah, it, I'm inclined to agree. We drove up and I saw these pounds of dirt and I was like, all right, people don't, they don't want us driving in there, that's fair. So we walked up and there's literally a man-made moat. I mean, it's not like it's impassable and no. theoretically you could go around it, but you kind of have to feel like if somebody had the time and energy to build a moat, they kind of don't want you going into their, their area. Yeah. Like that sign is old. Yeah. There's no area code. No. On those numbers. Which is like, isn't 778 like an actual area code Yeah, now? 778 is an actual area code, Oh boy, it? that goes too fast. Yeah, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> All right, thanks so much. Okay, so anyone who thought they were able to jump this, <laughs> they are not gonna be able to jump this. Yeah. Thank you, Beach. You're yeah. welcome. I, I, I am so glad that you bought a boot cleaner. Me too. <laughs> I owe you a life death, I guess. <laughs> Please don't pick on my car. Okay. No, that's still happening. Damn it! Morning in Tatauga Lake. After a breakfast made by some Quebecois tourists who were earning their way north along the highway, we prepared our cars for the day ahead. Day seven. Um, I don't think it comes as a shock that I've been the one putting most of the stickers on the back of Beach and Adam's car, but woke up this morning and things are getting creepy, and I did not do any of this. Yeah. Oh, dear. Oh, that's too bad. Oh, I <laughs> hurt so many children. Oh, my goodness. The way, the way you responded to that, like, and you're just like, oh, that's too bad. I really wonder how you watch, like, true crime and stuff like that. Or, like, oh, that's hey, unfortunate. Like, oh, shucks. Oh, the Golden Man. State Killer just really killed all those people. <laughs> mm. I really wish he wouldn't. Yeah, yeah. it's bad. I hate it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I hate everything about it. Mm -hmm. Beach, what did you do? I apparently went into some sort of fugue state last night. <laughs> Beach. Before leaving, we all went back down to the lake to enjoy the even nicer weather. I'm glad they finally corrected the draw distance out here. They must have upgraded the hardware. I guess that means the Bitcoin rush is over. Oh yeah, finally. You'd hate for one of those things to pop up when you're driving. Yeah. Uh-oh. Oh my God. Yep. How do you even have service out here? Because I don't have a scrub tier phone like you. Ooh. It's Graham. Of course Today, you're pressing even further north through one of the longest stretches of public land in the world. Neat. And on your way to finally reaching the Yukon, you'll be visiting the modern ghost town of Cassiar? Excuse me? What? We stalk her now, boys. Cheeky breaky. Ghost town? We're out of here, boys. Grab your moisten. We're going to go see some ghosts. Goats? I like goats. Goats! Goats! I figured it wasn't possible, but yet there'd been further vandalizing of our car. What in the hell? What? Adam. What? <laughs> so I'm over here, and now they're oh. starting to fill up the front windshield. <laughs> I hope that just takes that right off. Yeah. You couldn't even see that. I wonder how long it's been there. Yeah, for. I could have been driving around with that the entire time. But the ones in the back are the ones apparently we've hit. Are these the ones we brought back to life? Are you implying that our car has mystical powers? Yeah, maybe we, maybe when we like we hit a small child, maybe we, we we hit a small child that was like dead and it came back to life, or maybe it's a zombie now. I don't know. That's really fucked up, Beach. That's really fucked up. <laughs> 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 
I won't lie, I didn't want to leave this place. But we still had days ahead of us, and today was the day we finally got to cross into the Yukon. Okay. Yikazole. Follow that cop car. It's usually the other way around, but okay. Clear? Clear. Yeah. Okay. Oh boy. Day seven. Day seven. Day seven, right? Is yeah. that right? Yeah, that was hands down my favorite place we stopped. It was very nice. That was lake was fun. gorgeous. All lake. I want to do is put a boat on that lake and spend several hours out there. There's a lot of stuff in the in this area. Um, like jade mining, 80% of the world's jade comes from here, he was telling us. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, I must have missed that. One time they found a boulder that was six meters long and two meters wide, uh, which they had to cut, it was solid, and they had to cut it in chunks in order to get it out in the first place. Yeah. But even then, it was worth like millions. Honest to God, I, I want to come back here. Like, yeah. I 100% really I need to come back to this part of the, part of the province. Yeah. And I hear we're heading to Watson Lake. Heading to a different lake. We're jumping from puddle to puddle. Not only are we heading to Watson Lake, but today is the day that we make the transition from the BC to the Yukon. Yes, that's a big deal. Yeah. There's only two crossings from BC into the Yukon that don't involve first crossing from Alaska, and they both converge at the same place, Watson Lake. So that was our goal for the day, only 350 kilometers away. Long drive today. Um, yeah, but I am, ways to go. I'm keen to see what this ghost town looks like. Yeah, I wonder how spooky it's going to be. Well, you call it a modern ghost town, I'm kind of like, so it's not like an Old West style thing. It's, it's like an avant-garde. It's, it's all surrealist. Yeah. It's like Twin Peaks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ben quickly noticed that the distance wasn't the only reason Adam might have a bad time today. So there's some snow on the ground over on the side. Yeah, it's making me sick to my stomach. <laughs> I f***ing hate snow, Beach. As we passed a billboard, Adam spotted somewhere else we could have spent the night. Why didn't we stay at Mountain Shadow? Sounds too spooky. We're going to an actual ghost town. Ghost town, ghost town, ghost town. Wait, what? Come on, Ben, we've trained all our life for this. We thought you guys said goats. Yeah, I heard you guys saying goat and I just ignored it. I thought it would be funny. Great, that's great. I mean, I'm, I'm, upset about the ghosts and whatnot, but I'm more upset about the fact that we're just not going to be running into goats at all. I'm sure lots of goats died at the town we're going to. Now I'm depressed. Thanks, Avidan. As is my custom, I decided to continue passing on more trivia I'd picked up from John, who runs Tatauga Lake Resort. I assumed that this highway was part of the Alaska Highway, uh, and of course it isn't. Uh, he's like, no, no, this is the second highway built. And the reason was is that back in the 1940s, they built the Alaska Highway, uh, which starts in Dawson Creek. That's mile zero of the Alaska Highway is there. You're from Dawson Creek. I am from Dawson Creek, which is why I know that. When Milo is, in fact, the mascot of Dawson Creek. Who the Milo. F is Milo? Mile O, mile zero. Oh, my God. Right? So anyway, he's telling me that in, like, I believe the 1960s, uh, yeah. during the Cold War, they, the American military was not happy about there only being one road to Alaska. So the, mil the American military was like, we need another road. We need another highway that is that is far enough away that if the if the Russians or anybody end up bombing the Alaska Highway and rendering it unusable, we need a second road. Yeah. And so that's this highway. Uh, oh. This highway was mostly paid for by the American military. Because of that, that also meant that they need to have a gas station uh, every hundred miles. Yeah. And that's what Tatauga Lake is. That area was one of the gas stations that was that was established. And of course, you know, you keep you run that kind of thing, you want to build a resort that works on the lake and everything. Yeah. So kind of neat that it's like, this is a public works project that was in essence funded by another country. That's so neat. That's so neat. I'm under the learning beach again. <laughs> Once again, the learning beach spreads its branches. These are some nice roads though. Thanks America. Of course, all roads need upkeep. Still, there were upsides to the route. Every single time we turn a corner, it's just a beautiful new vista. Yep. It's ridiculous. Turns out Canada just continues to be gorgeous. 308 kilometers until Watson Lake. 308? Yeah. Hmm. That's nothing. It's really not that bad. Yeah. And at least we didn't have to deal with other drivers because we basically had this highway to ourselves. 
But we weren't completely alone. Not only did we see some wildlife, we even got it on camera for once. Oh, it's a bear! It's a bear. Hi, Mr. Bear. Hi, Mr. Bear. Bear. Holy sh! Bear, 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 bear. Oh, that's why. Bear, look at us. Look at us. Look at me, you f We honk the horn. Yeah, it's fine. Mr. Bear. I've been seeing a lot of bears. Yeah. Could you look at us, please? Well, now he looks at us with put my freaking phone down. They really are like super big dogs. Hey. <laughs> oh my God, fine, whatever. <laughs> Goodbye, bear friend. Tourists, he's thinking. Yeah. <laughs> you uncooperative piece of shit. I'm sorry, bear. You didn't deserve that. It's not about you. All right, so that's several bears. Yeah. Some deer. Still haven't seen a damn moose. You saw a moose last yesterday? No, see, that was a dead moose. I okay, that see... doesn't make it not a moose. Yeah, okay, that's fair. I Okay, let me rephrase that and be very specific. Yeah. yeah. I wish to see in the wilds of BC or the Yukon, a real live walking, preferably talking moose. In the Crown Vic, I was learning just how deep Adam's hatred of snow runs. Oh, there's snow everywhere. This is like barely any snow, dude. Snow in like almost June. This is kind of like when uh, Captain Planet sees pollution and it physically pains him. You were traumatized living in Saskatchewan. <laughs> yeah, it was like, it changed me. It changed him, man. I left a piece of myself there. Adam's distaste of snow gave me a great idea. Found snow. Let's go. Uh, snow. Oh my oh, God, is that what we pulled over? The whole body hurts. It's like the planet is dying. Adam, I'm totally with you. I moved to Victoria specifically to get away from this stuff. No, get. No, this is not okay. No, ball fight. Possibly <laughs> <laughs> regrets from the setting pretty soon. <laughs> oh. First blood. <laughs> Wait, we need to make a fort. Oh, geez. Why did I think I could catch snow? My dickle area. <laughs> Get a bee! <laughs> oh. I owe Ian one too. Oh no. Oh no. Oh! My kidneys! <laughs> my hands are cold, my feet are cold, this is a mistake! I have now officially had enough snow yeah. to last another 10 years. Ian started getting industrious, and that gave me another idea. Okay, snowman competition. Everybody build a snowman on your car, and the, the last one standing wins. As far as I'm concerned, they said build a snowman, but they didn't say you had to be standing up. So I figure if I build him on this, which has a lot of grip, he's gonna stay there a while. If I build him that he's laying down, he's gonna cover the whole sticker which is going to be an aesthetic improvement, but also he's not going to slide off as fast. Alex and I have decided that uh, we're going to go small, because small is probably going to be more aerodynamic. I feel like if he's up against the windshield like this, he can't fall. <laughs> Give him a little bit more of a defined neck there. He's got one eye. And then, here's this, we'll turn it into ice. And it'll freeze to our car. That's... Not how that's gonna work. Now we just need to wait, hope, and the hardest part, drive slowly and carefully. Nah. The snowmen were holding strong, which isn't really surprising considering the weather. My feet are cold. I think it was worth it. Oh, absolutely. I, I love how on this trip you have now taking a swim in a lake on a hot summer day and then we just had a snowball fight yeah and now we have a friend on our windshield yeah what's his name chili willy chili willy um now i'm noticing a small issue with chili willy yeah uh it's kind of raining a little bit yeah uh 
and you built him into my windshield wipers. Yes. For, to be fair, extra stability. Yeah. Which I think was very smart. But I'm going to kind of have to use my wipers at some point here. Yeah, not yet, though. I guess not yet. And it looks like the, the rain has sort of stopped. I so. guess that's fair. If we can just drive fast enough to, to dry. dry off the window. So why is there all this snow at this time of year? Well, because the Class Lean Plateau is 2,200 meters above sea level. Fun fact, this whole region saw its own gold rush in 1862. And while it didn't end up settling the area like the Caribou or Klondike gold rushes, it did have a big role in the modern geography of the province when, a year later, everything from the Skeena River, that's back where Woodcock Airstrip is, up to just north of the current Yukon border was merged with the colony of British Columbia. Uh-oh. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. Okay. He's still there. He's still there. still there. We're fine. Oh, he lost a nine. Okay, well, that, that was gonna happen. How's everyone's snowman doing? Fine. Yeah, ours is good. Ours is less a snowman and more like that blob at the end of the thing. As long as it doesn't suddenly disappear off, like, the hood of your car and suddenly you've got two beaches in your car. What's more terrifying, two beaches or the fact that one of them is a monster? Chili Willy holding strong. Like, I mean, he's starting to look a little bit more jaggedy. I'm pretty sure Chili Willy's copyrighted. We spell it differently. Ours is still a, 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 a mess. Ours is flagging and uh, we're playing visibility chicken on when we activate our wipers. Oh God, damn it. Uh, Chili's sliding a bit. Oh, Chili, no. If Chili falls off, it's your fault. Uh, well, almost certainly. Jeez Louise, that's a good looking lake. It was a good looking lake. So we pulled over to grab some tourist photos and I decided we were going to experience more of this new environment. I mean, sure, 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 sure thing. It's such a beautiful day that I feel like we should go with the top down for a little bit. I don't agree. <laughs> There's literally snow in the air. And Ben did not like it. What a gorgeous day to drive with the top down. I hate you. But it's so nice out. I hate you. Would you like to not drive with the top down? 100%. We'll put it to a car vote. I vote yes. I vote no. Hootie, Hootie votes no. Hootie votes no? Yeah. Damn it, all right. Outnumbered, fine, whatever. You guys are boring. Why would you ever think this is a good idea? I don't know, because I don't think it's that cold. It's freezing. It's not freezing. It's so cold, dude. <laughs> it's not that cold. Okay, but just because you're not cold doesn't mean that I'm not cold. Yeah, that's why I'm not going to This isn't the James <laughs> Turner Hour <laughs> Club. So I caved and we put the top back up. Is that better? Yeah. Cool. Hootie, how you doing? His beak is frozen and he can't talk. <laughs> Though Ben's joy was short-lived. No! You killed Chili! I knew if I got up Why? that fast, it was probably gonna happen. Oh. James killed our snowman. Ours is fine. I think ours is melting and spitting, yeah it is, it's melting and spitting water all over the windshield. Yep. And after not too much longer, our snowman's wandering all over our hood. Yeah, goodbye forever. No, our snowman committed suicide. I saw that, it was harrowing. Just the head is left. Much like all of Beach's victims. Yeah, Beach. Uh, when did you start decapitating people and why? The question, uh, Alex, is more, when will I stop decapitating people? Luckily, the weather was improving too rapidly for anyone to really answer that. This drive today, I really like. So I guess we're in summer now again. Yeah, wow. It's summer again. How is it that we went from having a snowball fight like half an hour ago to I'm now kind of hot in my hoodie? Yeah. It's amazing what a 1,600 meter drop in elevation can do for the weather. D Slake, eat at the shack. Eat at the shack. BC Yukon Air Service, interesting. What I'm reading there, Ben, is that we could theoretically just leave the car and fly, and fly the rest of the way. The Tin Rooster Deli and Bistro. Holy moly. Hey, Alex. Why? You like cryptids, right? Yes. Yeah, what do you think of the mooster? I beg your pardon? What do you think of the mooster? Hold on. Oh my god! 
That ain't right. No. It's a vicious killer. <sighs> what do you suppose it tastes like? What wine goes with it? Oh, right. Beer. Rosé. <laughs> After gassing up, Adam took stock of our snowman. We lost the body. It left behind. Yeah, that's snowman, all right. <laughs> and with the last of the snowmen dead and our bellies full, it was back to our usual tomfoolery. Hey, James, did you see the moose this morning? You're lying. You would have got James. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Joke's on you. You're a good friend. <laughs> Not a whole lot I want out of this trip. Yeah. Survive. Okay. See a moose. That's it? Yeah. What about, like, me surviving? Uh, well, I mean, yeah, sorry. When I say survive, yeah, I mean all of us. Okay. What about Gandalf? You want to make Gandalf get through the whole trip? Oh, yeah. Fine. Three things. I want all six of us to live. Yeah. I want Gandalf to make it all the way to Dawson City. Okay. And I want to see a goddamn moose. What about all of our video gear? You want that to make it through? I would sacrifice it all for a moose. <laughs> really? Yep. All right. In the Crown Vic, Adam's mind was also wandering to a place of happy thoughts. What do you guys think Jimmy is up to? I like to think he's sitting on a nice rocking chair up on the second floor and uh, thinking about those uh, boys that came through his hotel. And then he thinks about us. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm Yandere for Jimmy. Oh my god. Was that an anime thing you just said? Beach, I swear to god! It's not my fault. He keeps asking. I have to answer. I really don't like what Adam's become. <laughs> I can't wait to be done this dumb road trip so I can go back to Japan where everyone understands me. <laughs> Honestly, Beej, I gotta give you props. You've, you've completely broken my best friend in seven days. That's impressive. James, if you manage to lock him in a car with you for seven days, you can have him back. <laughs> no, we don't want your old dirty, used up Adam. Ah, uh, this is the beginning of the redemption arc then for me. <laughs> Suddenly, the weather turned on us. It's been a man. Jesus. Oh my god. What the hell? It was sunny 15 minutes ago. We pulled over for a quick bio break, and Adam was splitting no hairs. What is with this weather? I don't understand. It's perfectly bright. It's a sun shower. It's beautiful out. That's why it's raining. <laughs> it's driving me mad. We'll drive and then all of a sudden it'll just be pouring rain and then all of a sudden, nothing. I'm kind of scared to do something to Ian's car. <laughs> like actually scared. Because <laughs> I'm scared I'm scared he'll, he'll do something. <laughs> if I put like a sticker on his car. He'll hit his limit. Yeah. And that'll be it. He's just like, nope, that's mm, it. No. Nope. He just takes a crowbar to our, <laughs> to our trunk. It's like, that's I just yeah. had enough. <laughs> Hi, just talking about hey, you. Ian. I wanted to be included, but I didn't want to get out. Well, we had to get moving again anyway. We had a ghost town to get to. Hey team, how'd you like to hear a little bit about where we're going? This is about the goats? So Cassiar, which is a modern ghost town. Oh yeah. And it used to be an asbestos mine, but it was a company town. So when the company was mining, everything there was run by the company. And when the company was done, everybody left. The turnoff certainly wasn't marked, Almost like they don't want most people going there. The road to a ghost town. It's a very well-maintained road if it's to a ghost town. Yeah, I mean, everything's well-maintained in comparison to that one road. <laughs> That's fair. So uh, just as a note to all the drivers, uh, remember we're going into an asbestos mine, and I have no idea whether they've done any reclamation or not, or whether they sealed things up, but hey, sometimes you just have to get mesothelioma and not know why. <laughs> I mean, I can't guarantee you will be safe, but I'll try as best as I can. Before even reaching the town site, the road was already peppered with abandoned buildings and wreckage of the area's past. Signpost? Nope, turned over cart. Getting some abandoned wreckage already. That was the trailer the ghosts were using when they moved in. We made it to Goat Town. Yay, Goat Town. Goat Town. Goat Town. Even with the abandoned cabins and disused equipment, the mountainous landscape was still gorgeous. But the most striking feature was one mountain in particular. Holy shit. What? That big pile. Oh, shit. That is an actual mountain. Of 
whatever that is. That big green bump. Yeah. What is that? I don't know. If that's a pile of mine tailings, it's huge. I could probably get to the top of that. I like it looks mostly gravel. Yeah. I feel like a great majority of it would just give out from underneath you. Maybe. Oh look, there's more behind it. <laughs> oh my god, it just keeps going. Yeah, that's incredible. Wow. Our way is marked by a bag of sand. Or salt. Salt to keep the ghosts in. Right. Wow. Wow. There is just a lot of abandoned things here. Yeah. They just oh pieced boy. out. However, it turns out the place wasn't totally abandoned, as we saw when we passed by Scrappy Larry's junkyard. Whoa. And a dog. dog. Hey, doggo. <laughs> the dog is just like in our way. Kind of a weird place for a junkyard though. I mean, I doubt anybody f with you out here. Well, yeah, it's just like, this is just a long way to go. And we had come a long way, but Scrappy Larry's directions led us right to the entrance to the Cassiar town site. What the hey? This is where it is. Larry, the guy who runs the junkyard said, just duck under the yellow gates. You can go down and see the old uh, old town site as much as there is. Is it a ghost town because there's literally no houses that you can see? I think it's a little further down. Oh, okay. Yeah. I was promised goats. Let's do this. We had passed many piles of bear droppings on the road in, which absolutely did not prepare us for our next animal encounter. Is that a ghost horse? Uh, no. Uh, De hey, Death Rides a pale horse. Yeah. Hi, horse. Hi. He's looking. He's just coming right for us. Since the way seemed guarded, we took the long way around. On the outskirts of the town site, we found some old trailers, and Alex was desperate to begin his career as an urban explorer. We're gonna Looks. check this out. Are we? Well. <laughs> That's so gross. If those were to rupture, it would be really gross. Spoon. Atco trailers are kind of a staple in Canada. You'll see them in a lot of places. Uh, Atco uh, made an awful lot of these. They probably still make them. And for the record, my understanding, Atco, A-T-C-O, stands for Alberta Trailer Company. Now Atco is an oil and gas company. Meanwhile, Adam and I checked out some far less creepy stuff. No, this is where you put your arm in. <laughs> yeah, do it. No. Man, yeah. yeah, there could be anything in there. Exactly. That's why we're using a flashlight, because we're civilized humans. Pitch black in there. <laughs> after, after Barkersville, I deserve that. <laughs> oh, look, this one you can uh, actually crawl in. Oh, perfect. Hello? Oh, oh, that echo. Oh. Hootie hoo! Oh, <laughs> you got me! You <laughs> it sounded like someone was skittering up. Uh, I have a goof. I was playing music. I played too many video games. Back at the trailer, I was catching up on some light reading. Microwave and light and healthy. Microwaving for one and two. Microwaving meats. Microwaving convenience foods. What's in these binders? 1985 negotiations between Brinco Mining Limited, Cassiar Division, and United Steelworkers of America, Local 6536. Yeah, it appears to be a vast collection of microwave cookbooks, software personnel 2000 user guides, and union documentation. You want to go check out the burned out dump trucks? Dump trucks and see if there's any engrams in there? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> I play a lot of Destiny. I, I have a look at the sealed boxes, yeah, yeah. which by the way are labeled with the words Acme Labs. <laughs> uh, whatever is inside, each bag is numbered, oh. right? and all the bags are triple bagged. Oh, oh boy! I would suggest not messing with that whatever it is Yeah, now. you bet. 
But we were still on the outskirts, and we wanted to see the Cassiar town site proper. But when they left, they left. And the last remaining building, one of two churches, burned down sometime in 2016. What was once a town of 1,500 people was now nothing. There's no, like, phone poles, right? Yeah. So it's like, and, okay. And it stops there. Yeah. Like, you're just surrounded by gorgeous mountains the entire time. And free horses. And free horses. Yeah. Not goats, but. No. I'll take horses. Of course, we still did what exploring we could. I know that on the beach, yeah. if you uh, like turn over a rock, you can find a crab. Yeah. Anything here? Uh, I think we just find asbestos. <laughs> kind of would have preferred goats. This is uh, got to be a foundation. Hey? I bet an animal lives in there. And you know what kind of animals live underground? Huh. Angry ones. Here's another little foundation here. This one looks sort of L-shaped. Right. I think it's time for a research. Oh yeah, that's your problem there. You need to get these recertified every 10 years. This is a hockey rink! What? This is a You're... hockey rink! No way! What? It sure is! Wait, really? Yeah, it's a hockey rink. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it totally is. Yeah. Look how smooth it is still. Oh, my God. Maybe they actually had a team. Maybe they had a team. Yeah. Look at the shadow on the ground that that rocket left. I tried to put it back where it was. What? We picked it up. Oh, my God. It's been yeah, there for a while. Right? They just dropped it there. Yeah. I tried to put it back down where it was so that future generations can experience Yeah. what a weird ass thing that is. With so little of the actual town site to explore, and since we couldn't technically get into the buildings near the tailings pile, we entertained ourselves by exploring Scrappy Larry's junkyard. I love Hustler. I see a rustler. Oh, rustler, okay. <laughs> oh boy. No, no, that does say Hustler, doesn't oh, it? Good. <laughs> yeah, Nissan Hustler. Ooh. That looks like a Camaro right there, or is that 28? Hey, Ben. Yeah. You wanna open a junkyard with me? Yeah. What'd you call it? Uh, Ben and Adam scrap and swap. Scrap and swap? What do we swap for? More scrap. Canamax. Canamax. What on earth is a Canamax? That's an alpha. Is that an alpha? Well, look, at the, look at the symbol in the front. Oh my gosh. Hey, Adam. Yeah, Ben. I'm feeling pretty tired. Same. Huh. So what is that? I don't know. Okay, now I'm confused now. What are we looking at here? Corona Mark II. Oh, this is like during that time when instead of putting like uh, car company badges on the front, they'd make like a custom badge for mm -hmm. the front and be like, like the Corvette had its own thing. The seat belts don't even have a logo on them. God. Look at the seat belt. That doesn't even have a hole in it. It's just, it's basically a pin. A pin with a washer. It clips into something? Yeah, into this one. Toyota. Toyota? Toyota Corona. That makes sense. I was like, why can't I read that? Oh, because it's probably Japanese. <laughs> this is really cool. Yeah. Hey. <clears throat> just hey, reminds hey. me of my, uh... hey. oh, I see. You got that booty. I should put this around my neck. Hey. It's just a bunch of half-finished product or projects. Things are started and just left. Yeah, I mean, this this is obviously like some sort of art student's dream. Yeah. <laughs> just picture, ten thousand dollars. Looks like it just exploded. Big frying pan and some kettles. Like this might have been something someone hung out in quite a while. I'm kind of concerned by all the propane tanks. Just. I'm sure they're empty, but... Oh! <laughs> Wait a minute. Okay, this is 100% a f***ing monster trap. <laughs> no, seriously, look, there's like a sliding piece... Oh my god, you're right. Of what? ...board. This is probably a bear trap. Look, this is so crazy, We're though. pretty far north. This is seriously some sort of, like, large animal trap. 
Ben, those balls yeah. are probably bearings from some very large machinery. Mm. Balls. This is something else. This is where we get back and we find out that like our cars are gone and that those traps are actually just for us. I don't know what any of us had been expecting with the promise of a modern ghost town, but I don't think it was this. The companies hadn't just abandoned Cassiar, they'd dismantled and removed it until all that was left was Scrappy Larry's junkyard and an enormous tailings pile. For his part, Alex had acquired a souvenir. Hey buddy, where you been? Oh, trying to find Larry. Larry? Yeah. Sweet. I'm having a ball. God damn it. And so, back past the tailings pile and down out of the mountains, we said goodbye to the site that was Cassiar. Well, that was neat. I didn't see any goats. Yeah, I'm a little disappointed in the lack of goats. But on the bright side, literally, it is all sunshiny. That makes me happy. Yeah, considering. I was a spoil sport when I was chilly. <laughs> it is still chilly. It's, I was gonna say, it's still kinda it's, chilly. It's less chilly. I pictured like old creaky village, kinda like burnt out images of bodies still on the wall. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I was in Pompeii and that's what I expected in Canada. There's a lot of like, just rotted out shacks and stuff along this route as well, but it probably are all on somebody's property. Yeah. Goodbye, giant mountain of tailings. What a cool place. Yeah. I think the most frightening thing was the giant mound of green. That's just like, hey, all that probably has asbestos in it still. Yeah. So you can't get and should not get anywhere near it. Yeah. And like, that is terrifying to me. Yeah, I had no idea that the uh, jade mine up there yeah. was apparently going to be active in a couple weeks. <laughs> like, not just like they're thinking of opening up. No, it's going to happen. I mean, there were horses. There were horses. That was very cool. We saw wild horses. They were kind of scary. Just yeah. had no idea what they were going to do. Yeah, they're unpredictable. Yeah. And the, um, the hockey rink. Yeah. Like, just barely recognizable. I'm glad we found something. After not too long, we were back on the highway and even closer to the Yukon. We're about an hour away from Watson. I think it's a little over. Yeah. But not much. No. And since we once again had nothing to do, it was time for another episode of Car Talk. Oh, welcome to Car Talk. It's Ben. It's James. What's up? How's it going? I'm tired. Me too. Can we do a chill talk today? Yes, I'm going to drink some water. Oh, let's talk about water. Okay. <laughs> what do you have to say about water? It's cool. Yeah. You drink it, you swim in it, you wash yourself in it once a week. But it's also important to know that water is one of the most dangerous things. It's true. It, it, is, it is a statistical fact that water kills 19.8 million people every day. Every day? Every, every day. <laughs> oh my god. This is, this is your show. You should know the facts That's... before. Did you not get the envelope? Uh, I, I, I did, you... but I I didn't think you'd, you know, get on my case on the, uh, the chill car talk. Yeah, no, that's fair. My bad. So, we abandoned car talk and got back to discussing the trip. We're so far up. We're oh, up. yeah. Yeah. We have, like, driven the entirety of BC. Yeah, I'm really excited to cross the border. Yeah. I, like, I think that's going to be a pretty big step. I don't know why, but, like, part of me is just like, man, the moment we get to the Yukon, I better look completely goddamn different. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we're not even sure these cars will make it to Dawson. Uh, I think these cars are going to make it to Dawson. At this point, I think we've, we've passed the tough part. Yeah, yeah, well, that's the thing, is that I feel like things are going to be fine unless Beach's car explodes. <laughs> That'd be sad. I'd miss Adam. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a very nice vista. Mm. This gorgeous lake, rolling hills. <gasps> Damn! That's a big rock! Where? Right there! You mean that mountain? That's, I mean, a mountain's a big rock. I mean, you're not, yes, technically wrong. Damn! Look at all this wood! All the trees? Yeah. Yeah. 
Not only was the scenery beautiful, the road surface was even better. Feel that pavement? Oh, this feels good. Oh my, my god. My booty feels like it's on a cloud of dreams. Gotta go fast. Oh, this is so nice. Such a treat for my ani. Um, for your ani? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like as in you have more than one <laughs> anus? <laughs> Tell <laughs> you. I don't want to alarm you guys, but James has just told me that he has one more than one anus. James, I need you to be very calm and very brave because we need to get you to a doctor immediately. Mile 665. Get ready, guys. Uh, we'll be hitting mile 666 soon, FYI. This is Canada, you heathen. It's kilometers. And like the darkness of James's second butthole and the impending kilometer of the beast, things turned creepy. The hell happened here? Oh yeah, this is burnout. The great tree war took many lives. It's a Bob Ross painting he hasn't finished yet. This is like eerie, right? Yeah, it's a little weird. It looks like they all just died for some reason. In fact, this is one of many forest fires along the highway. This particular one started by lightning strike in 2010 and was allowed to burn naturally as an important part of maintaining a healthy forest ecosystem. Still eerie though, so Adam tried to lighten the mood. Hey James. Yes. I'm thinking of a song. I've written it down. What is it? I don't, I need a, can I get a hint at all? I mean, there's only like a handful of songs that would come up when I would say this. The combination Pizza Hut and Taco Bell song. No, it's not. Give me the genre of music. Canadian punk. Is it a Cancer Bats song? No. Is it a Monin song? Yes. Is Red Tree a song? That's the album, right? Do you just want me to tell you the song? <laughs> I don't remember any of the names of the song on that album. No, it's not even on that album. It starred Angry and Mad. Uh... Well, he was supposed to just no-scope it. Hey, Ian. Yeah. I'm thinking of a song. <laughs> Is it Banditos? Yep. F*** <laughs> 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 James. That was our road trip song. Oh, yeah. Whenever we would start a road trip, we would always play that song. Yeah. I never thought the sentence, I wish I was like Beej and Ian, would go through my head. I figured I'd try for a twofer. And hey, Ian. Yes. What album am I thinking of? It's either Stunt by Bare Naked Ladies or The Real Folk Blues. Wait, no, 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 no. Nineteen ninety-six pulling rank of Japanese animation. Yes! Yes! <laughs> Bees just started screaming and fist bumping. Wow. Guess I don't have a best friend anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, Adam. Not only were all of us friends, but as the sun started slowly lowering in the sky, we finally approached the border between British Columbia and the Yukon. Hey, we made it! We made it. Oh my god, Ben. We made it to the Yukon. Yeah. I mean, we still have a ways to go, but... We made it! It's the sign! It's the sign. <gasps> hey! Hey! We did it! The, 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 the place! We're here! The place! Oh, you Jesus! <laughs> there was nothing for so long! Where are they going? No! The Yukon! <laughs> no! So we're in some sort of no man's land, I think, right now, because we're not quite in the Yukon, but apparently we're not quite in BC either, according to where the signage is. We should make a house right here. Yeah. In international waters. Exactly. Yes. There's no laws? Yeah. Oh, Jesus! Ah, I made it to the Yukon before anybody else! <laughs> he had to win! Glad to see it. So what? So wait, do we get the trophy? I don't even know where the trophy is. It's in my car. Oh, perfect. Well, our car. Mm. I, didn't, I, I thought this wasn't a race. Also, the race finishes at Dawson City. Correct. We got a ways to go. So that's like what? That's like another 100 clicks, right? I, I, Google Maps has stopped working a long time ago, so I have no clue. Yeah, we haven't had service for like... Probably all day. We need to find like a Wolverine with Graham's messages on it or something. We'll be in Dawson City within the hour. That sounds excellent. That sounds good. Mm. We should get out of here before anyone else gets shanked. What if we spell out Yukon? <laughs> backwards. James, these guys are gonna leave us. We gotta go. Bees, no, don't leave me. 
No, I need those. <laughs> Damn it, he has my keys. <laughs> Take his keys? Yeah. Welcome back. What up? It's your friends Ian and Alex. Don't know how long that was pointed and in the wrong direction. How does it feel? 